Hi, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy Dore. This is Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> oh, hey, Bill. Uh, how's it going? Um, I mean, you know, heard you got fired. How, how's that going? Well, as I said in my statement, I am disheartened by Fox's decision. But as you know, every setback is also an opportunity. I will be moving forward. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Bill. I mean, good to know you're still standing after all this. Go fuck yourself, you little coward. Bill! I know you and all your little liberal gutter snipens are celebrating my demise. <laughs> well, eat all the <laughs> marzipan and deviled eggs while you can, because this lefty party won't last long, I can assure you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because O'Reilly's not going anywhere. Or, I should say, he is going somewhere, and that somewhere <laughs> is online. Online? Yes, that's the new way to say inside the computer. I'm going to do what that fat crybaby Glenn Beck did and start my own online subscription-only news service. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what it's going to be called yet. Uh, O'ReillyOnline.com, TheFact.com, TalkingPoints.biz. Unfortunately, give me that fucking pussy.com is already taken. And when you have a good ten minutes, Jimmy, check it out. Who boy. So what will you be doing on this online network thing? Well, finally, I will have an unfettered platform to be myself. So... <laughs> <laughs> you should be aware that I will be openly sexually harassing women and saying the N-word constantly. <laughs> I can't keep that stuff behind closed doors anymore. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> you hold that in too long, that's how you get cancer. <laughs> so there will be a lot of that, me yelling about the news and pinheads and whatnot, the usual. I might be shirtless a lot, like Alex Jones. You can do anything on the online. Is it just going to be you? I mean, like like all the time? No, no. This will be a 24-7 news network, Jimmy. There will be many other anchors and correspondents. I hear Tommy Lauren is looking for a job. She just got fired from the blaze for saying abortion should be a state issue. Glenn Beck didn't like that. Well, let me tell you something, Tommy. You come to my network... I'll let you eat a dead fetus on the air. <laughs> Just don't gain any weight. Bill! Maybe I can get some former and current Fox News hotties to jump on board. Maybe give old Lori Du a call. Oh, Andrea Tantaros, Jimmy. What? Andrea Tantaros. Dude. Dude. In person? <laughs> Holy Christ. God damn. <laughs> all right, Bill. Bill, I get it. So anyway, yeah, you get the idea. Just me and all these blazing hot female news bitches. <laughs> Maybe I'll wear a smoking jacket and pajama bottoms. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bill. When one of the girls is on air doing her show, and you can see me in a comfy chair in the background with a cocktail in one hand, pulling my pod with the other. Bill! What? It's a whole new approach to the news and analysis. Ooh! Jimmy, I have millions of viewers and fans. If I leave Fox News, so do they. <laughs> and they will be happy to pay for a subscription service to my online news and harassment empire. Bill, the median age of your viewership is, uh, like, 71 years old. So? Bill, old people don't watch TV on the computer. They watch TV on the TV. Well, hold on. I'm told that you can watch <laughs> Internet stuff on a TV if you have uh, an apple pie or a cuckoo or whatever the hell you call it. Uh, not a lot of old conservative people are wired up, Bill. Wait a minute. Hold on here. What about you? People pay to watch your stupid show. Yeah, my audience is young and middle-aged lefties who are smart and computer savvy. You've cultivated an audience of hateful geriatric troglodytes, and you expect them to follow you online en masse? Did you think this through, Bill? Of course I didn't think it through. 
What, you mean <laughs> compulsively tell women I want to bang them for 20 years and then have it finally <laughs> bite me on the ass? Yeah, I didn't plan that out exactly. <laughs> okay, so... So I'm just doing the next logical step here. I'm going to get all white people to pay to see me be racist and grab titty if I have to go to their houses and put a gun <laughs> to their grandkids' heads. Do you understand me? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, him too. I'll put a gun to his head. That'll get him to pay up. He's hayseed to love Jesus. Anyway, I got to go. I'm going to pace around yelling racial slurs and get loaded so I can drunk die you later. <laughs>